Okay guys, gotta be honest with you, I just got done watching episode 6, I went downstairs, started drinking some water, and eating some ruffles, baked ruffles because they're better for you, kept asking myself, what's up with Moldaver? Do I really want to wait to watch the next two episodes? So, and I wonder if Moldaver, because there's this, this theme with her, everybody knows who Moldaver is, that's what the lady in the shop said, that's what Moldaver said, basically Lucy's dead. Because I know who you are. And she goes, everybody knows who I am. Well, maybe that's why everybody knows who she is. Because she's been around for so damn long. So, anyway guys. Make sure you're subscribed. I'd appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Comment if you like the content. Join me on Patreon if you like the content. Episode 7. Let's go. Who's this? Someone with a metal detector? Oh, hell yeah! An NCR mask! Let's go! Hold on, it's one of my favorite uniforms. You download modern ones off of Fallout Nexus, and that's like your main one. Yo! Not Eric Estrada! <laughs> What's up, Punch? Sandra. Who's Sandra? That fool thought he was eating his daughter. Thank you, darling. I didn't think that. Oh wait, you thought <laughs> this act. <laughs> Sandra, wait outside. Lead Palmer, huh? I am. Uh, I probably still got some of your lead in me somewhere. I'll tell you anything, as long as you leave us in peace. Say, it might. Out of date. Or did I hear you had three kids? I had an oldest son, but he's gone. Mm. What did you say the name of your eldest was? Was it Rufus? That must make you Tommy. What did you do? Oh, Rufus got Tommy and mixed up with that mad woman, too. Rufus sent Tommy a stash of caps to pay a courier to that very same mad woman in the hills. Uh. By the time I got this letter off your brother, it was a little bit hard to read. For some reason, I just can't make out her location. Now you give me that location, and I'll be on my way. I'm gonna build something, and we have the chance. Tell him what he wants to know, or else he's gonna kill us all. He's like, I don't wanna hear that shit right now. We'll talk about it later. She's at the observatory. So what you think, Tommy? Am I really walking out of here today, or are you gonna try and draw on me for what I did to your big brother? Just a flesh wound. As long as it's not someone's tooth. Damn, he didn't even go out the side door. I thought he shot him right here, but he might actually be dead. What is it about California that we all came to this place? Maybe it's the sunshine. We were told the atom bomb meant the end of war. That didn't work out, did it? But the future is getting closer, and we can see it. That's about all the horse shit I can take. Cool, cool, come on. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. This is about all the horse shit I can take. There's a lot of money in selling the end of the world. Okay, uh, sorry, this was a mistake. We'll be leaving. You see, it happens that I know your wife, and perhaps a side of her you don't. My research uh. company was acquired by her division. We were developing this kind of technology that's difficult to monetize cold fusion infinite energy america has been locked in a resource war for over a decade vault tech bought the means to end that war so they could put it on the shelf all because it didn't fit into their business model i want your help in getting it back at the end of the day it comes down to money that's what sucks what is it it's a listening device you want me to spy on my wife <laughs> she has nothing to hide I'm not a communist, Mr. Howard. That's just a dirty word they use to describe people who aren't uh, insane. I don't know about that. I like how every intro screen is different. We let you into our home. But you had to go to level 12. You're experimenting on them. It's, it's sick. All right. Play the tape. I need to see the holotape, too. 
What is this? One final log entry. These may be my last words. Uh, I want to reiterate that a society governed by scientists Hurry! is the ideal social structure. Our test subjects were less compliant than we expected. Oh. <laughs> What does that mean? Sorry, I haven't uh, seen that footage in a long time. But it's a stirring reminder of what this place is all about. I, I don't Me either. understand it. His ancestors were used as lab rats by the original residents of Vault 4. The creature in the video was actually my great uncle Peter on my mom's side. That's why the fingers and the mouth, Sorry. those are fingers. Okay. My vault's not like this. What was the experiment in 33? Well, there is no experiment. Your ignorance cannot excuse <laughs> your cruelty. Stop! What? Please. Let me go! Let me go! That's right, dude. You slow popcorn eating fool. What's he gonna do? He's so weird. Red Rocket, let's go. Sorry, right, Thaddeus. Is that a rifle sticking out of the top? Oh, that's right. Damn. Maximus stomped on his. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if you were a person, you wouldn't have any friends. You realize that? Step back and go fix that. Everything's for you. It's pretty selfish, actually. You know that? Oh, hell yeah. You can't eat this. You know what? Oh, yeah. This is great. A lot of space. You know, loose. I thought he was going to go for a drink, not put the damn dog in there. Great. You'll be fine. We are all survivors here. It doesn't matter <laughs> what are they doing? where you come from or what you believe. Safety. That dude got it. Ear thrown out of his head? The fuck? For causing harm. Oh god, what's he gonna do? Your fellow survivor, you are hereby sentenced to death <laughs> by banishment to the surface! She's like, I could leave? Almost there. Oh my god. You need to get that sharpened, please. You're just letting me go? You'll be killed almost immediately on the surface by Lord knows what. That's why we're giving you two weeks of supplies to take with you. Thank you, Kathy. After that, you Kathy. on your own. So happy. Okay, and now it is time to be moving along. My friend really likes it here. He deserves to be somewhere nice and safe. I'm not really <laughs> in the position to. He's about to kill the power. <laughs> Can he stay? Yep, there it goes. It was like. Only you. Do, 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 do. Boom. Stop. They're letting me go. Oh. Really? Probably you too now. Sorry. That was a weird vault. We stole their fusion core. Well, yeah, but... You know, I needed it for the armor. Well, without their fusion core, their auxiliary power will only last a few days. And then what? No. Yes. No. Giving it back is the right thing to do. Gotta give them their power back. You really want to give them their fusion core back if it means you don't get your dad? Pause real quick. So, um... I decided to download Fallout Shelter, which I've played for, I don't know, ever. And so all three of my vaults are pretty much maxed out. But what I noticed, though, is that T-60 armor with the scratches across it 
was a gift. So they don't never update the game, but they have the new armor from the show. I'll continue now. So you're not a knight anyway, man. You're a liar. I'd be mad as hell. But I get it. Thinking about those oysters? How long before Bethesda sells that? They have to sell that knight. That armor. I haven't bought anything from them in years. Maybe I'll buy that. We don't have oysters in my vault. We have canned tuna. They don't taste the same. They're even close. I don't have the best luck when it comes to strangers. Titus, you are the best stranger that I've ever met. You gonna tell her? You're a good person, Titus. When all of this is over, you could come and live with us in Vault 33, with me. Well, Maximus. My name isn't Titus, it's Maximus. Titus is the name of the knight who owned the suit before me. And go on. He was threatening me, so instead of helping him, I watched him die, and I lied to you. So all that stuff you're saying, you know, about, uh, about me being a good person. No. I just threw acid in an innocent man's face. <laughs> and I've only been up here two weeks. All right, Maximus. Yeah. Sometimes. Got you a keeper. Got you a clinger. Do you want a giant alien eyes? Apple? Yeah, of course. No, nah, man. I'm trying to get one of them houses on the desert. With the sand filter. Wear diapers. Let's go find that head. She should have said, let's go get some head. So, I'd encourage you to sit back and enjoy the folksy. Just a reminder that I don't take visitors at the station. Thaddeus, Thaddeus, Thaddeus. Not this fool. Oh, is he gonna kill himself? Music. Don't tell me he's got feet in there. He was trying to sell feet when last time we saw him. Excuse me! Don't kill me. I'm a doctor. I can help you. You are not a doctor, you lying son of a bitch. Welcome to my humble pharmacy. Please. Have a seat, my dear boy, and let's... Take a look at that tattered tootsie. I want to see that foot again. Someone stepped on my foot. Yes, sometimes fatal. I have in my possession serums and. Daddy says, like, hell no. What stopped me from just killing you, taking your whole thing of drugs? Not many people know the difference between the noxious and the benign. That's the sound of your lower intestine falling right the fuck out. But which is which? Just give me the right one. Okay. He throws him. Before we start, there's a small matter of my fee. Is, is that a... Fusion core? Not a bad trade. Okay. Here. Be funny if this guy was, like, legit. The elixir I have concocted heals all. Just give it. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> that's gonna heal a foot that's falling off. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, thank you. Do you know I can find a radio tower? Yes, I believe there's one yonward. It's near a town that used to be called Shady Sands. Shady Sands? This is radioactive as hell. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, do you, buddy boy? That worked, but he was out too quick. Did he steal the head? Where's the head? I can't believe that worked. I was 100% sure he was going to swindle him. What a oh, the food tray. I'm like, what the hell is this? Oh, they want their food now, don't they? The heck? Is you. Did he poison them? What happened? The medic says it looks like rat poison. What did I tell you, Norman? Words have meaning. So Norman didn't do it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> 
Air about chat. Oh. That sucks. Chat has to go to Vault 32. It's just terrible about the Raiders, isn't it? Don't be too long. Chad told her. We'll miss you, Norm. You're going to. Steph and I were given a starter home unit. So you're just going to forget about everything we've seen. I feel like this is a good moment for a fresh start. You think so? Yeah, but what is he supposed Someone to do? Obviously does. You're a coward. You know that shit? We all are, Norm. That's why we live in a vault. Oh, oh, oh that was real. That was real. Norm, he's right next door. Right through the cornfields. Don't tell me he's gonna taste it. <laughs> I guess he was eating a dead man's ass, so. Poor CX-404 has gotta be thirsty as hell. Find your daddy. Mm. That looks like a piece of it, actually. Right there on the end. I've got three hot cocos on deck, two marshmallow, one plain. Three, you have one for me. Yeah. Okay. A good staticky from 12 feet away. What's it going to sound like from further out? You're right, Roosevelt. What are you thinking? Oh, he threw it away. Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists, specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. What's he thinking? Uh, he needs that microphone now. No dogs in the hall, huh? Cooper, I think a raccoon went through our trash last night. I'm sorry, dog meat, but you ain't him. Call him dog meat. Here we go. Yeah, my uh, ride should be getting here any minute. These are the original recordings. Oh, mm hmm Oh, that, okay, yeah. Wow, that's really got that yeah. thing on it. I like it a lot, <laughs> yeah. Some people, they're just so ignorant to music. It's kind of sad, I would say. Great job with these booby traps, by the way. Really good. Jesus. Hey, is this your ride? Oh, snap. Oh, shit. <laughs> So their gun is not accurate. We just want the head. Who are you? I'm the person who got it off. Okay, um. Oh. 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 Why am I not dead? So went through your neck. I, I, I wouldn't do that. Oh, oh. no. No. Oh. 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 oh no, is it poison? I, I think you might be a ghoul. Oh no, I'm so stupid. I just should never oh. trust that dog. It smelled like that. Uh oh, here's a real ride. Oh, fuck. they'll kill me if they find out. What? Th this is good, no? The Brotherhood is the good guys? Uh, yeah, it's a complicated organization. Daddy's give me the head. Huh? I'll slow them down. You'll have time to run. Oh, thank you. What are you doing? If they want a head, smash in the face. I'm gonna give them a head. Find your dad. They're never gonna stop looking for the artifact. I'm, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. You're my world. You're my daddy. <laughs> it's like that first time you kiss somebody, you don't want to stop kissing them. Find me. I will. Find me. A 
And now we say goodbye to all those who are leaving us for Vault 32. <laughs> and of course, I'm not going. Every not going. vault. Um, excuse me. Uh, I, don't, I don't live there. I guess it's just like moving, Sorry. though. You're just moving to Sorry. another apartment. Sorry, that was weird. Um, Sorry. And of course, every vault needs an overseer, which is why I have conferred with the High Council. Who's this High Council? And we are proud to announce as interim overseer of Vault 32, Stephanie Harper. Why wouldn't it be one of the other two who ran? Oh, one staying. Good luck, 32ers. What is he doing? What are you up to, Norm? Uh, straight to the overseer's office. What are you up to? He's got the hacker. Is 31 vault -Tech headquarters? Okay, so what's in 31? Let's go. I think Norm's gonna get us all captured here, man. He's too smart for his own good. Hello? You don't sound like Betty. Hello? Norm is like he he's a chicken but he doesn't he's like fearless or super curious I guess hmm hello hello it's full of robots You're gonna show us what the hell he was looking at? What the hell? Alright, so that was episode 7. Definitely more questions and answers. What the hell was Norm looking at at the end? It, sound, it said the closed captioning, like machinery whirring, so I can only assume that there's a robot, but there was something else that he just was speechless. I love his curiosity. He's probably gonna get him killed. How about Maximus? Finally came out and told the truth of who he was, or who he is. Allowed... Thaddeus to go? That reminds me. So Thaddeus, he said he's a ghoul. He healed just like uh, just like Cooper did. The ghoul. When he was taking that medicine, he was getting all shot up. So it's really interesting. But Thaddeus hasn't turned yet. He just he just took a bunch of ghoul juice, I guess. So what's going to happen with Thaddeus? It's a good question. And reunited. So we finally have a dog meat officially. CX404 will now be, will now be known as dog meat. Of course, he is in the lore of the game. Man, I can't wait to see what happens in episode 8. Like one more episode. One more episode episode man what's going on with 31 again i'm gonna ask that again what's going on with 32 what's up with betty i feel like this this is definitely not going to conclude in one episode so there's there's no way there's not a season two i mean i know we have one episode left but there's no way there's so many things the world is so open right now so all right we are finally here fallout episode eight as you guys can see i brought out all my fallout stuff that i've collected over the years it's been a while since i bought anything but to be honest with you guys i did go online and i did pre-order the fallout series pit boy yes i'm a sucker but sometimes i just can't avoid buying things like that because they're just so cool but now we get the answer to all our questions i mean there's only one episode left right but let's check it out fallout episode eight <laughs> It's that war. War never changes. Oh yeah, vertebird. That's what they're called. Looks like we got Maximus. Oh nice, they're just staring at him. 
Can't tell, obviously, what they're thinking, but... Find me. I will. That's right, he has a head. The wrong head. Building clear for landing. The locals put up a fight, but so did we. <laughs> Why are they going to Philly? This is interesting. Oh, yeah. Didn't he tell them when he radioed in and said his squire fell that the people in Philly put up a fight? I could be wrong on that. I have to go back and check. Those poor people. Damn, man. They're all staring at him. You'd think they'd be excited. Hmm. These people seem like more like the Enclave to me from the video game The Bad Knights or whatever. You're wearing the knight's red. Uh. Who's your knight? He's dead. That's right. The uniform change. I didn't think about that. This is not the first time brother in your company has fallen into misfortune. What's up, Aspirin Dane? I fear you lied then. Uh-oh. Just as you lie now. I can get you the real head. Please, my lord. My injury was my own doing, not his. Please, I know where that is. I told you is. Dane is a real one. Please listen to him. Huh. This will start off a little dark. How did Titus die? He died running. We once ruled the wasteland. Power is taken, not given. The lesson you seem to have learned. So, if what you say is true, and you can lead us to the relic, you and I... There is no you and I. ...will take power. Palpatine. Conversation. ...will start a new brotherhood with me as its head, and the likes of you as its sword. Yeah. Emperor vibes right there. Reach your destination. So where is she? Alright, what faction is this? If we kind of mix it in, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, probably some Fallout 76 stuff. I'm surprised she didn't get a new vault suit when she was at Vault 4. It's her. It's her. Oh, the, he's the guy who thanked her for letting him go back to the Super Duper Mart. Okay. Yo, this soundtrack is nuts. Well, thank you for the ride. You know, most guys who could ride this nice, they, they wouldn't be willing to get their hands dirty. Have a great day. Thank you, Coop. Okay. Wish you called him Coop instead of Babe. My wife's still like, hey, Babe. Bye, Babe. What's wrong? I totally drive that little thing. It's to the mailbox. Strange. Keep it myself. I just need to figure out where the pit boy is trying to transmit. I imagine Barb told you about it. Oh no. Well, I call it Buds Buds. <laughs> We're getting late. Oh yes. Let's go. Man, that's a crappy transmitter. All right, where you going, Coop? Seems like if he were found a way to bug Bud Askins' car, he'd get a lot more answers. Oh, she's at the Raiders camp. I didn't put that together. Obviously, that's where she's supposed to go. Welcome. Well, she's eating well. What the f is that? Join us. Walker? It's my turn to host, isn't it? I've had a lot of time to think about this moment. What the hell? One night, I actually tried to stuff an old grenade into the neck hole. But that's not really how I was raised. At least he is kind of a badass. Damn, she put her on her eggs. Brought you your friend. Give me my dad. So I wonder if there's going to be a huge plot twist that Moldaver's not actually bad. Very well. Because the Brotherhood of Steel is looking real raunchy these days. What if I tell you how I know your father? Who he really is? 
Don't listen to You me. think your father was born in a vault? The mystery of all 31, let's go. Hello? It's Bumblebee with that radio face. It's a brain. Oh, it's one of those. What's those things called? Forgot. Hank McLean's DNA. Wow. Um, his son? No, 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 no! Initiate protocol 53. Uh-oh. I'm be kicking that damn thing. No, 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 just hold still. <laughs> Who are you? Wait, beast. The secret must be guarded. Don't, don't go in there. Don't you go in there. Don't read anything in there. I would Turn totally kick that syringe, though. I guess he's not a big threat, but I could be—I would be distracted or forget about that damn thing. It would stick me in the leg and kill me. Any idea when Barb will be back? I'm sorry, she's in a meeting. There's a new guy who works with Barb, Henry. He's a really big fan of yours. He has called the house a few times. Do you mind if I bring him by just to meet you for a moment? Yeah, I'm always happy to meet a fan. I have a suspicion that Henry's not a real person. between like-minded corporations that make America great. On behalf of everyone here at vault -Tec. Welcome. Let's call this what it is, bud. Your sales aren't up to snuff, and you need money. Our sales are fine. We'd like to collaborate on some of our vaults. I, I don't get the vaults. But it's time to come out. What if people are still alive on the surface? Our vaults have the resources to survive for centuries. Meanwhile, our competitors, Every other human who isn't us will be dead on the surface. Because after all, what is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction? Time. Time. Huh. Interesting. They in the vaults while people on the surface die. Now we will win the great game of capitalism, not by outfighting it. By surviving. But by outliving them. Who's to say your rats are going to survive better than those animals on the surface? There. So his wife's a super big wig. She doesn't just work there. She's way up being in a meeting with those people. If I could perhaps refocus the conversation. Come on, Barb. Set him straight. When I think about the future, I think about my daughter. How do I provide her with a better future? That's what we've invited you here to discuss. I suggest we hedge our bets. Yeah. Wait! I am the overseer here. My orders must be followed. Where's the rest of the vault? This is the rest of the vault. Yeah. Is this where my dad's from? You'll never find out. Oh, he's gonna find out. <laughs> Overseers are brain on some wheels. Ah. Buds, buds. But it would have been insane to keep a failed nation alive, so we kept Vault Tech alive instead. My own assistant training program. Hank. Because the future of humanity comes. Oh, the, the assistant. Bud here has an idea huh. for three interconnected vaults, but we need more ideas. We need your ideas. Wow. We have over a hundred vaults spread across America. Enough for each of you to claim several where you can play out your own ideas for how to create the perfect conditions for humanity. Whatever you want to do, no one needs to know. Wow. Bunch of experiments. And may the best idea win. Maybe it's their five year proposal. So, what's Vault 32 and 33? Just people to be controlled? Genetically selected to breed with my buzz to create a class of super managers. People with positivity, people who make lemonade, people who will inherit the earth after we've wiped the surface clean. Like Betty. So everybody from Ball 31 is a freaking. They wiped the surface clean. We could intentionally overcrowd a vault so people have to compete to survive inside it. Governed by it. What about using a vault to develop a super mutant soldier using illegal immigrants? We could pump psychotropic drugs into the air supply. We could separate parents and children, and only the smartest kids reach adulthood. Wow. It's a fun idea. A lot of earning potential with the end of the world. How can you guarantee results? By dropping the bomb ourselves. 
It was leading up to that. Everything all right, Mr. Howard? Fine. I'm Jesus. Fine. I'm, I'm fine, Betty. He is so excited to meet you. A nuclear event would be a tragedy, but also an opportunity. Y'all are crazy, man. Because when we are the only ones left, there will be no one to fight. Mr. Howard, huge fan. I'm Henry, but uh, everyone calls me Hank. Wow. Your father has been around for a very long time. Wow. Part of an organization that thought they had the answers to all the world's problems. What about you, Moldaver? Feo fuerte y formal. This is our chance to make war obsolete in our current societal configuration which took I didn't see that coming intentional guidance we have friction we have conflict and we have war we're good as power if it's the end of the universe war never changes we're the end of the world you know what I mean she just wants power but what good is that you think you could give me an autograph he never told you where he's really from he never told your mother either so he helped create that world. What do you do with that information? What do you know about my mother? She was kind, loving, curious. Isn't that why you came to the surface, really? Partly to rescue your father, but to know why I took him. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, there we go. Like, dude, thank you. Wait, Dane, they're sending you? Punishment for what I did to myself. I was just scared of going to the wilds. I had no idea they'd blame you for it. What? She really did it? I thought she was covering up. What? No way. Don't be. I was meant to go on that mission. I met someone. But right now, she's walking into danger. Okay, Maximus. That's why you came back. To rescue her. I am going back to where she came from. Nobody ever goes to war. There's no way. I, I cannot. Are you kidding me? I could think of a thousand different ways to... There's nowhere safe, Max. And there's no leaving. I wish there was. A, a million different ways to harm myself to where I didn't have to go, but not step on a razor. Ah, damn. They just took over Philly. Damn. They just take what they want, I guess. The old man said... Rose was so clever. Your mother discovered that something was siphoning the vault's water away. Uh oh. She deduced that maybe civilization had returned to the surface. But when she told her husband, no one. Lucy, let's go. Let's. And that's when she realized that her husband, the overseer, was hiding things. So she ran away. And she found this wonderful city. But then her husband came after her. He took the children. And he burned that city to the ground. Wow. Shady Sands. She's lying. Tech deals with competition. She knows because she's been to Shady Sands. The Molde of her hibernated as well. That's how, yeah, okay. What you brought me is cold fusion. It's limitless energy. And we can build She's a murderer. our own world. Look at it, it could be a better world. It has she clean water and medicine and home. power. But for everyone. Lucy. Because when vault bought my research, people. they made it proprietary. So only a trusted vault minion Do not can activate listen cold fusion. To her. That's what she said in the flashback. We took her research. It's for him to give me the call. Look at me! Who do you believe? I mean, Dad looks like he's guilty as hell. Moldaver's pretty sinister, too. My mother. What happened to her? I think you know. Deep, man. Wait, what? Oh, whoa. Hold up. No. Wait, what? No. He's been kept alive as a ghoul. Or a walker. Lucy. She's lying, Lucy. Man, speechless. Just give her the code. Give 
give her the code. So what happens if he gives her the code? I mean, holding out a vault mission doesn't matter at this point. Give her the code, Dad. Or does he not have it? Is that a lie to? Okay. I guess why would you not give up the code? You know? With the way things have turned out? Ugh. Have a thought. Hopefully I don't forget in the recap. Alright, Norm. Stable. Well, it was great meeting you. I actually have to get back home. You can't go home, son of Hank. Son of Hank. <laughs> Not with what you've learned. So are you just... You're just gonna keep me here? Just until we're all ready to go to the surface. That could be hundreds of years. True. That's why I'd suggest you wait it out in your dad's pod. Unless you want to starve to death. I'd certainly put myself to sleep if I could. Did Fallout 4, like which, I, I swear one of the games you woke up in, in a pod. I know Fallout 3, you're a baby, and you have to configure, you like, see your birthday party and all that kind of stuff, but. Did what was necessary to save our people. Yeah, but your people's everyone, isn't it? That woman over there, she is no different than me. Like, what are you talking about, Dad? Ugh. Hmm. Incoming aircraft. Got a fight in her hands. The Brotherhood? Barricade the doors! Don't let anyone in here! You think she would have hit the button? I loved your mother. But you left her. But you stopped being your mother when she left home. I understand his point, sort of, because the surface is a crazy place. Definitely no place for a child. Can't believe Dane did that. Oh. You've seen what it's like up here. Everyone equally afraid, equally. They would have been better off landing like real military does, several clicks out to do horrible things in order to survive. I had to make a choice between their violent world and our peaceful one. And I believe I made the right choice. Uh. She's not trying to hear any of that right now. It's like a, a remake of the first episode, but outside with real weapons and real soldiers. The problem with the world is factions endlessly fighting, endlessly at war. Then what is the solution but to get rid of the factions? To make the world us. Yeah. Hard to disagree. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. The old man's there? Is that him? Huh? I bet that outfit makes y'all feel like a big man. Oh, shit. A ghoul. I didn't know who the hell that was. Well, I know, cause... Well, I used to wear one back in the day. There was a flaw just below the chest plate. I wonder if they fix that in this new model. Nope. I guess not. That ghoul is bold. No way in hell. I would even. Mm -mm. Mission Maximus is glad he doesn't have that armor on right now. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta put her out of her misery, man. Lucy! It's like, who's this? Oh, my daughter's gonna marry a black guy. Can you get us out of here? Just kidding. Not with him. 
What? It was him. What was him? He shit his hands. Don't tell me Hank was in the arbor. It was him. I have so many questions. Shady Sands, it was him. It was not enough for me. Lucy, you're coming with me. Oh, no! it's like a kill shot. Max, Max, wake up. You see what this place does to people? I'm your father, Lucy. You came all this way for me. Remember what Wilzik said? When the time comes, will you still be the same person. Willing to do whatever it takes. Hurt me. I could do it. Oh, you want another autograph, young Henry? <laughs> Fail. Worth it. Ephemal. Your daughter said her last name was McLean, Will. I just couldn't believe that it was the McLean. Now I've waited over 200 years. Where's my fucking family? Uh. Are they in Vault 31? You know, I didn't trust Hank from the very beginning, but I wasn't quite sure how he was wrapped up in all this. Where's Moldaver? Wake up! Wake up! War never changes. War never changes. You look out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel, and that's who I want to talk to. Well, it's easier to track a stuck pig than to ask you where it's off to. Huh. You want to know how I know your daddy, don't you? He's got the best one-liners. You say that everything about your whole little world was decided over 200 years ago. Now, you can stay here with him, but when his tin can soldier friends take this place, they will kill you and everybody here. Oh, yeah, here they come. Or you could come meet your makers. Best one-liners in the whole show. Killed her mom. Or the ghoul formerly known as her mom. In that suffering. You coming? Girl, he got a grade 50 concussion. I don't even know if that's a thing, but... It He's probably got it. He hit that thing hard as hell. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Heard that okie dokie to the original one. It was like, okie dokie! Man. Yo, know, they could have made that the end of the series and it just would have been like this crazy cliffhanger. There's so many things that are still unfigured out. Lucy. You gone, homie? Lucy! Oh, Maximus is holding the gun, too. Uh-oh. Alright. You got a sick for holding on to her this whole time, though. she not notice Maximus? Oh wow, look at that. Power. What do you suppose your brotherhood would do with infinite power? Control people. Maybe you can stop them. Maybe you can't. Maybe all you can do is try. <laughs> oh no. Like I get her a stim pack. Too late. What's out there, leader? You killed her. No. All hail Maximus! That shall be night hereafter! All hail Maximus! <laughs> All hail Maximus. <laughs> now he's forced into living a lie. <laughs> oh man. He's like shit, man. Poor Maximus. He didn't even want to be there. That's all he wanted. He doesn't want to be there no more. 
Lucy the Ghoul and Dog Me. I walk with my shadow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. With my this ain't gonna survive, or is they gonna meet that? Let's go. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, wow, a lot to react to. Um, there's no way they don't give this thing a second season, right? Fallout New Vegas, they have to. I mean, they kind of. The show is really popular. I didn't look up to see what people have ranked it on Rotten Tomatoes. Usually, I do that after the fact. But I think the show, I think the show did the video game series justice. Now, there's going to be a lot of people who are, you know, super into the lore, which I just played the game. And I played a lot of the game. But I didn't really look up anything other than mods. Again, shout out to Fallout Nexus. Um, and I just enjoyed the game. It, it just took me to a place where, like, an escape from my reality, like a lot of these games do. Kind of like Skyrim, you know? And it was just so much fun. I, I've always wanted little Fusion Core things. They had, like, the little Fusion Core USB um, or the Fusion Core power bank, which was it had crappy reviews, but it looked cool. I never bought it. I asked for it for Christmas. I'd always buy little stuff like this when I would see it online or at the store. And after a while, I think after Fallout 76 came out, you go to Target and there'd just be little power armor pop vinyls everywhere. And then I just kind of stopped collecting it. I'm one of those guys. I stop buying it once it's available everywhere. I don't know. Kind of weird. But um, so that last little thing and, and Hank had to type in the code for Cold Fusion. That reminded me of. That reminded me of Fallout 3, which, God, it's had to, had to at least been 10 years. I played that at least 10 years. But at the end, you had to make a choice, and you had to go to the Enclave. So we didn't really, we only heard of the Enclave here. We saw them briefly. But, you know, I, I rocked the Enclave power armor, which was completely different, and it was badass, black, or dark. But you had to go to that machine and put in a code or whatever, and I don't know if it was it, was it the antidote to cure everything on the Capital Wasteland? It was something like that, but it was a major decision that you had to make in order to win the game. And I think Fallout 4 was similar. Uh, I don't remember much about it, but um, I know I played that for a ton of hours, and then when I finally got around to... Was it the Citadel? What's it, the Citadel? What was it called? That special place in Fallout 4 where all those creators were, all those scientists, and they had their own power armor and their own... They were really power armor, their own special armor, and their own special energy weapons. I kind of forgot about it until I was playing Fallout Shelter the other day, going through and collecting all my stuff. I think the movie did the game justice, and there was all those little things, you know, where it was Blamco Mac and Cheese and the Sunset, I can never say it, Paris of Vanilla or whatever. You know, they touched on the bottle caps a little bit as a currency. And I'm really excited to see Season 2. I know they're going to have it. It would be impossible for them not to have Season 2. But the big question is, should I, at this point, should I watch Halo? Should I watch Twisted Metal? Should I watch The Last of Us? I want to keep this playlist going of live-action adaptations of basically video games. Also, I realized on the screen on Amazon that they have a whole lore section and a whole other stuff that I didn't even realize until I hit play for Chapter 8. So I'm going to go back and watch a lot of that stuff just to kind of catch myself back up and see how they may have changed a few things for the show. Also, hey guys, I've obviously put all my stuff up. I'm sitting here thinking about it as I'm getting on my regular work day. I brought it up a couple times, but no super mutants. That is so strange to me. Maybe we will see them in Season 2. Again, I think they're going to make a Season 2, but that, they are such a huge, huge part of the game. I don't know about Fallout 1 and 2, because honestly, I've never played those. I downloaded them. I have them on Steam. I've just never played them. 3, 4, I mean, the super mutants are such a big part of the game. So hopefully we see them at some point moving forward. I think we got a taste of it. Remember way back in the beginning of episode two when Will Zig was at the science lab, the other scientists or soldiers or whatever wheeled a gurney or a stretcher and you saw like this big hand sticking out of it. I think that's that's kind of their taste of the super mutants for us. Yeah, hopefully we see them. So anyway, with that being said, guys, I want to thank you for going on this journey with me. Please consider subscribing to this channel and please consider checking out my Patreon, Patreon, Get Real With Jay. And I'll see you guys on the next series.